back to my channel. This is my 39 week pregnancy update. I seriously can't believe we're already at 39 weeks. In some ways it feels like it's gone by really fast, but in others it's like, okay, that's really dragged by. But especially these last couple weeks because I'll tell you some new symptoms that I have that have not been that fun. So let's see, the last pregnancy update I did, ooh, it's been a little while. Since then, I've had three baby showers and I've gotten a lot of really nice things. I feel like we're pretty much set on um, the baby stuff. Um, we still have to get a crib in the mail and a few other things that are in the mail that hopefully come before he comes. But um, if not, we'll be fine. We have a bassinet for our room um, and a changing station and all that set up in our room. So the nursery, um, there's no rush to get it done. So we'll get that done in the next couple weeks once the crib comes in and we get the recliner um, and all that kind of stuff. But symptoms. So in the last couple weeks, the SPD has continued. Um, just the pain and when you do basically anything that um, requires your legs to be farther than like hip width apart. If you stretch them, walk them, whatever, that it's painful getting up and down trying to like crisscross um, on the floor with my students and then standing up it's like oh my word I cannot do that anymore um, and even walking too much can really be painful so I try to walk as much as I can without pain and then basically I've just been like running in place for a workout instead of doing an actual workout because I just can't anymore it's too painful um, other things, Braxton Hicks have definitely increased. Lots of Braxton Hicks. Um, I feel like I get them all the time and they're, they're a lot more, um, I wouldn't say painful, but they're, they cause a lot more pressure and I have to stop and just breathe through it until it's gone. Um, and I haven't really noticed any kind of pattern to it, so they're all really irregular. It's just throughout the day. Um, and I get them a lot more when I'm at school just because I'm so busy all day. Um, and when I'm at home, I'm a little more relaxed so I don't get them quite as much. Um, another thing that's been really annoying is swelling. My feet and ankles have really started to swell. Um, and they're fine in the morning, but as the day goes on, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I just feel like they're like little sausages. <laughs> my toes are like little sausages and my feet just look really bad and they're not very comfortable. They just feel like there's a lot of fluid in them. Um, I have been trying to um, elevate them, but it's also kind of uncomfortable because when I elevate my um, feet, it feels like my stomach's squished, like he's squished in there. So I can't do that too much. Um, I had a midwife appointment the other day and she said that he is posterior right now so his back is to my back and um, they would like him to flip so that his back is um, right in the front. And I thought he was before, but then I guess he must have moved again. Um, so she gave me some exercises to do and she said it's not the worst thing um, if he doesn't, but they would really like to see him move. Um, so we'll see about that. My guess is that he'll come in about a week or a week and two days, something like that. I don't think he's gonna come before 40 weeks. I don't know why I feel that. I just feel like he probably won't. She said from what she can feel, he feels as though he's about six and a half pounds, which was kind of surprising to me because I thought for some reason that he was already huge and that I was gonna just have a big baby, but we don't know. Who knows? I mean, it's just a guess. It's She doesn't know for sure. Um, but I'm really curious to see how much he actually does weigh because at the 32-week ultrasound, they said he was in the 75th percentile. Um, and they said that he was probably going to be between 8.5 and, and 9 pounds. But now when she said that, I'm like, well, he's probably not going to get to 9 pounds if he's only 6.5 right now and I'm at 39 weeks. So we'll see. We shall see how that is and how tall he is and all of that. Um, he's definitely a lot lower. She said he's very engaged in my pelvis, so he's getting ready. 
and I can feel that whenever I walk, I'm like, okay, I have to go to the bathroom. We've been taking a lot of um, classroom bathroom breaks because I can't just randomly leave my class. Um, so we all just line up and go to the bathroom, come back, um, just because I can't wait anymore. I'm just like, okay, nope, oh, it's time to go right now. Um, cravings, I haven't had any cravings. Honestly, I've just kind of wanted just like cereal and fruit and stuff, carb type things. I, I mean, I guess that's a craving, but it's not really, like I haven't really wanted anything. It's just been more things that I would have geared toward in the first trimester. And it's kind of like that at the end. I had a really bad heartburn um, last week for like four or five days. It was weird. Um, and I didn't have that. I had like three times this whole pregnancy. So that was very strange. Um, I took Tums and that helped a lot. And also took apple cider vinegar. And then I tried baking soda in water. And that helped a lot too. Um, but it went away. And I haven't had it for the past four days. So... It's fine with me. I've heard that once um, the baby drops low enough, you won't get um, heartburn anymore just because um, that's he's not pushing on that part of your stomach or something like that. Um, it's finally nicer out, which is amazing. Yesterday and today. Today I was outside a little too long and I'm very sunburned. Like my legs, probably not a good idea. Yeah, but it was so nice outside. I just couldn't come inside. And you know how when you're outside, you don't really feel the sunburn until like later on. And you're like, oh, that was probably not a good idea. So I have swollen feet, a bad sunburn, and a very pregnant belly. So that'll be interesting this last week. Tomorrow's Easter, and I'm really excited about that. Um, we're go probably going to my in-laws for that. And I think if baby hasn't come, we're going to get maternity photos because I have not done maternity photos yet. Um, I've just been so busy with school and it's been rainy. Um, just trying to figure everything out um, with that. But I have, I had yesterday off and then this weekend and Monday off. So we have a little bit of time to get maternity photos in, preferably when it's sunny out. So hopefully tomorrow will be sunny. Um, next week is probably my last week teaching. If I do go over, 40 weeks, I'll probably come to school the first couple days, depending on how uncomfortable I am. Um, usually, I would say I would just go until, like, even if it's 41 or 42 weeks. But because there's only six weeks till the end of the school year, it's kind of like, well, I kind of don't want to push myself if I'm very uncomfortable and I'm overdue. So we'll see um, what I'll do there. We have a field trip next week though, which I'm really excited about, but I'm probably gonna bring my car so that it's not like, oh my goodness, I have to leave and everybody has to go on the bus. So I'm gonna bring my car so that we don't even have to worry about that if I do have to leave, which I probably won't, but just in case. Um, my ring, my wedding ring does not fit in me anymore. So I'm wearing the silicone ring, which feels a lot better because it's not tight at all and it just, it's just a lot better than having something tight around your finger. Um, weight gain. So far I've gained a total of 33 pounds, I think. I think it's 33 pounds, which is fine. Um, I didn't even know what to expect with weight gain and I was like, whatever happens, happens. So we'll see what it is at the end. Um, I've heard that like at the very end you can start losing weight, but that hasn't happened to me yet. So. Um, we'll see if it actually does. Um, I think a lot of it right now is water retention just because of how much swelling is going on everywhere. Um, I definitely have a waddle. I've had a waddle for a lot of weeks. People are like, yeah, you can tell that you're waddling. They're like, from the back, you can't tell that you're pregnant, but then you turn around, it's like, oh my word. Um, so yeah, I definitely am waddling and walking slower and all of those good things. Means that it's coming time for baby to be here. Um, the nursery is not set up at all. I think I talked a little bit about that, but I did wash all of the newborn clothes and the zero to three month clothes um, just so that I have 
all of those ready and then the rest are in bins and then we're going to get everything in the nursery set up um, in the next couple weeks probably after he's born just because we're trying to pace ourselves and not like buy everything at once um, but like I said that won't be a problem um, because we already have the stuff set up in our room for what he'll need for the first month or two um, and I think that's it now it's baby watch time it's kind of like uh, anybody's guess when when I'll go my mom went a week early with her first um, and then she was always a little bit early with everybody else and it's just kind of a waiting game right now you just see what happens my guess again is 40 weeks and one day or 40 weeks and two days and my husband's guess is 40 weeks and two days so neither of us are that optimistic that it's gonna be this week um, I am doing a home birth. We have several midwives who will be coming here to our house, um, and I'm very excited about that, also very nervous, but a lot of my family members and friends have done that, um, and they've really liked it. So I will definitely let you know my experience with that and share that with you. And yes, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Um, my hubby and I are going to go out to eat. We're trying to at least get out once in a while. Um, and I will show you a bump shot. Have a good day. So here is my 39 week belly. His belly button's really popping. I don't know if you can see that. If I come closer, you can see it. Flex. <laughs>